What's up, it's Zed, and this is part two of episode three of the ZM Cohetes Create a Club career mode in the La Liga. And we did pretty well. I mean, we did pretty shit at the beginning of last episode, and then towards the end, we were able to qualify for the round of 16. We, we, we were barely able to qualify for the round of 16 in the in the Champions League but we did and I mean that was a a really good game we we're able to beat that team I, I I really can't remember the name of the team it's uh that one it's ACK or AGK or AEK I don't even know what, what letter is in the middle I don't even know if the first one is an A in the first place but the first match of this episode is going to be a really big one against Real Madrid and it's going to be tough. I'm, I, I'm going to be playing the full match. Before we do that, according to the board, we're supposed to get a, a a couple of Asian players, and I really don't want to do that because it's that is going to be fucking pointless. Because I really don't need any any player that I don't need in my squad, and it's it's, it's kind of like they're forcing me to do what is not good for the club. So I don't think I'm going to end up getting any. Asian players or shit like that. So no one was good enough in that in that list, and I don't see anyone that is of any value here as well. So this is another waste of precious money. Uh, I'm changing this to this. If Fonseca is injured, that was that was one really that was one big blow to be honest from from last episode, and well. He's not going to be participating in this match against Real Madrid. I think we're away from home in this match. So I think we are. Uh, no, we're not. We are actually at home against Real Madrid. And I'm just going to change this to the uh, away kit real quick. I think, I think I'll think i be more comfortable with this one. It's pretty sad that Benzema is not in the World Cup. I, yeah, it's really fucking shocking that Argentina actually lost today. I mean, I'm recording this video today, the day that Argentina lost and i'm going to be putting it out tomorrow which is going to be today for you guys but yeah Argentina lost yesterday and <laughs> that was that that was a really really fucking huge upset to be honest saudi arabia defeating a, a a powerhouse like argentina but i mean that's not really my business my my business right now is with cm cohetes and trying to defeat real madrid first match in this episode, it's going to be against Real Madrid. It's going to be a really tough match. I'm going to be playing two full matches in this episode. And the second one I'm going to play, I want to save that for the Champions League Finals. That is if I even get all the way to the Champions League Finals in the first place. But if I do, that would be really, really good. That would be really good if I do. But, I mean, I'm just hoping that I actually do. I mean, it's really tough. I mean, there's a lot of opponents that are, that are going to be competing with Champions League. And... I mean, winning it is a really, really long shot. It's a really fucking long shot. But I, mean, I mean, I can only try and stuff. So, Korea kicks off and goes straight to Helvig, then Stewart, then back to Helvig. And, well, possession. I'm saying it again. Hopefully, I don't jinx it this time. Hopefully, I don't fucking jinx it this time. I mean, we're doing really well so far. We're doing really, really well so far, actually. And that would have been close if we were able to get get to to German. All right, so they have a really good opportunity here, and I, okay, that's that, that's fucked up. What? Where the hell did you even come from? Where the actual fuck did he even come from? That's that's fucking bullshit, man. God, I'm so tired. I mean, I, how, how do you even... No, I mean, it's FIFA. There's really nothing I can do about it. I mean, I don't even know how he was able to find find him from there. But, I mean, we are... One goal down and... Well, that's... That, that sucks. I wanted... I really wanted to give German there, but... Just... Was it going to work? What? How the defenders just leaving them wide open? They are literally leaving them wide open to make shots like that. When the twelfth freaking minute, our Real Madrid is defeating is already two 0 up. Like, like what the hell? What the hell did the defender do there? That was Vardio just completely switched off for me right there. That was 
that, that was fucked up. I have no idea what Mal was doing. I honestly don't even know what I want to do in this match. I mean, obviously, I'm trying to hold position, but that that in itself is not even not even working out. Okay, who is there? I see no one. Okay. Uh, that would have been that would have been so nice if that came off, but it, but it did not, and we're able to get it back from. Okay, that 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 is that would have been good. That would have been good. Okay, the ball is still in play. I don't even know. I don't even know what I want to do in this match. Honestly, I have no idea what I want to do in this match. I just hope that I'm going to be able to at least get a goal or two to equalize this match. I really, I really hope I can actually equalize. I mean, we are not that much out of control. The two goals that that we've conceded are goals that could have easily. If you look at if you look at it, we actually have more possession. We're actually holding the ball way better than them. It's just that for some reason, these guys like look at that. I did through pass, and you're passing it straight to the freaking opposition. Okay. All right. So that was that was offside. So that is. That's me being really lucky right there. Okay, that was that was risky, but okay, that was that was really good. That was really good. That was really fucking good. I waited until the last minute. I honestly thought that Courtois was going to come out and get that, but he wasn't. We're actually able to get the goal. That is really good. A really good goal. That was a really, really good pass from Schmidt. That just shows the quality that that guy has, and that is worth being a 90 picking rating. That is worth being a 90 rating. That pass, the initial pass straight to Stewart. That thing was beautiful. And well, I mean, Stewart just found Korea. That that should be his first goal of the club. If that's not his first goal of the club, that's definitely the first goal that he's scoring while I'm playing the match. And let's see what we can make from that the pass doesn't work, quite work out so can we get the ball from Kotoa? we were able to put enough pressure on him and now we are with the ball like i said we're actually we're actually doing way better than these guys in this match we're actually doing way better than they are and we have We've had really limited chances. I think it's only that one chance that we've had, and we're able to put it away. And the match, the match is really fucking tough, to be honest. But I mean, we are doing really well. So let's just hope that in the second half, we are able to to um, um, capitalize on this um, um, run of possession that we are on, and actually get get ourselves the win in this match, or at least a draw. We're looking at Real Madrid here. I have no idea what the table looks like. That was a really good tackle. Really good tackle. And I'm playing a really risky, a really fucking risky game here. And actually, it actually came off quite well. And we're giving it to Rise here, please. And we just weren't able to get the goal there. I mean, I could have got, I could have gone around the keeper. I just that I hardly ever think of that. I hardly ever think of that when I am. In that kind of situation, it would, have been, it would have been best to go around the keeper, but I mean, can't really dwell on the past. Let's try and get game possession here. And again, once again, we're able to put enough you know, pressure on, on Courtois. That would have been close, but we we're able to. Can we get the, we get the ball back? Uh, Korea, are you with the ball? Nope, nothing. Nothing really happening. I just have to go back. 
Why is why is that whole wing so fucking packed? Okay, that 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 would have been good. I, I I don't know why that pass was that bad. And that is that is a that is a um okay. That sucks. That pass from from Hagenberg was so bad. I have no idea why the hell he fucked that up so so much. I mean, German definitely would have scored that, but he wasn't given the chance. I brought in Maduke for Rise. So, okay, this this is going to be okay. That was really good. A really good block from um, what's his face from Zaracho. Now we have a relatively big chance for a, for a counter attack. That if we can get the ball here, that that's good. We do get the ball, and Korea. You are the one I'm looking for right now. Please, where are you? Oh my god, that was a very fucking tame, tame pass. Okay, good, good to regain possession. And who's there? No one is there. And just give the ball away. Poorly, to be honest. And Vinicius is through. Can we get the ball? Yes, we do. We're actually doing relatively well i see i see you three stewards that is a good that was bad that was that was the bad call there but really good defending really good defending Please score it. Crap. Courtois was not able to get enough. We not able to get enough for to, to to parry that out for a corner. And now bringing in Ziyech for Kallenberg. I mean Ziyech hasn't played in a long ass time. Why is why is why is this place so fucking empty? Okay. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Nothing really. Nothing really happened. Alright. And all right, so that was that was that was a bad, a really bad call. I mean, we're doing really well. So I mean, the best the best thing right now would be to at least draw this match because we we've, we've been able to hold Real Madrid so well. We've been able to hold them so well after those two goals, and 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 just makes me just makes me so fucking sad. Oh my god. What? It's, it's honestly the fact that I, I I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying to do anything. I was, I was, <laughs> I was sincerely, I was sincerely just trying to hit the ball. I didn't press the stand tackle or the slide tackle, but I continued the fucking penalty. That sucks. That sucks. So I mean, the only thing I can hope for is a save, and we do save it. That's good. I have no idea why the penalties always lag. I have zero idea why they always lag. It makes no fucking sense to me. But that was a really good save from Bandre. Bandre, Bandre at it again, literally. So I mean, this is a really good chance for for a counter attack. Please and fucking fucking wasted. Fucking waste. That was a really good chance. I have no idea who was who was making the run, but my God, thank God, thank God he was able to. That was really good play. But what do we have here? And that nothing comes out of that. Well, I, I guess we've already lost this match. Really, nothing we can do. We were the better side by far, but it just really wasn't our match. Just really want to match this time around. That 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 sucks. That really sucks. Really nothing I can do about it right now. So it's sad. It's sad to be honest because because we actually really really dominated this match. I mean maybe not in shots but definitely in possession. We actually had a lot more passes, uh, the same amount of shots but possession. I mean I mean if if I mean you guys with the match just looks like 
I mean, we definitely control the match more and shit. We were with the ball more often than they were. And I mean, it's just really sad that we weren't able to get a win there. I don't think I want to make any changes or rather any, uh, I don't think I want to bring anyone into the team anytime soon. Uh, I'm really not doing this anymore. Reach the final. Okay, we're supposed to just reach the final, not win it. So I think it's possible for us to at least win, reach the final. Then we're supposed to win the league. So I'm mean, with our current squad right now. I think I think that we should be able to um, win the league. I mean, I have no idea what the where we are on the table right now after that loss. Okay, we are we're on the same point with Real Madrid. Villarreal and Barcelona. Barcelona is far ahead of us. I mean, they're still catchable. It's not up to 10 points. It's just 9 points. So that's just 3 matches away. So, I mean, all we have to do is right now is win win all our matches. From now on, for us to at least have a chance to, to get that title. But the first match is going to be against um, Bayern, but we're going to be playing. I'm going to be starting with this match against, against Villarreal. I'm simming all the way through the the transfer window because I'm really not interested in buying or selling anybody to be honest. So we do win the match against Celta Vigo and up next we have Hetafe. We draw the match against Hetafe. That 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 sucks. And up next is the match against Real Sociedad. We win that 5-1. That is a really huge win. Hopefully that draw against Hetafe doesn't really set us back a lot. And this should be a win. Okay, yeah, we win 3-1 against Osasuna. This is now the end of the transfer window. Next match in the in the cup, we win on penalties 4-3. In Atletico Madrid, I, I mean, I would have wanted to play that match, but I mean, it's already too, it's already too fucking late. We are here in the match against Villarreal. We're going to be doing the playable highlights, but I mean, it sucks that we are now out of the of the um, Copa del Rey. We lost 2-1 to Atletico Madrid, a team that we literally always beat with high margins. Um, scouting reports. Okay, this guy seems like he's he, he's fairly good. Good, good, oh, good overall. Good potential. And I mean, I already signed him, but the rest of them are absolute fucking shit. So I mean, I'm pretty much done. There's no, there's no um second. There's no second um scouting reports. So I think the um the second guys are done so I mean, am, I, am I supposed to look at a scout report here Netherlands okay there you go uh, I mean his potential is really good but his overall is shit so I'm not going to accept him no one else looks like they are promising at all literally no one else I mean, this guy looks like it's okay but um, his overall might just be too late so no one from Netherlands this time around and no one from Italy so I mean I won't I'm tempted to like get a third a third scout but really not helping me in any way at all. So what do we have here? Um offer for Zaracho. They want to give me Calvin Phillips for for Zaracho. I mean it's a really tempting offer but I'm not going to accept. Then Batch, I mean I wanted to sell him before, but I the transfer the, the offer broke down, so I wasn't able to sell him. But right now there is oh I just I just accidentally <laughs> rejected it. I thought I thought there were three offers, but it turned out there were just two. So uh, I just hope that the board doesn't get get fucking mad at us this time. I think Fonseca should be should be ready. I'm hoping. Kallenberg has a red card. Fonseca, yeah, he's definitely he's definitely ready. So this here's what I'm going to do. Alright, so that that should be good. I'm going to put the edge here ahead of VC and um, I think I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So Fonseca is back and this is going to be a really good chance for him to get back on the score on the scoring sheet. So uh wait the second the second one hasn't there, right? Okay, yeah, so uh the match against Villarreal is up next and this is Okay, let me just change the fucking contradictory. I'm like it's just so fucking stupid how 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 it how they literally make it so con no I'm 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 not even gonna talk. I'm not making any changes, although the team is quite tired. I mean I would I would I would play Tommy as we hear, definitely. So I mean I I I bought I bought Vardio at 184 or, or 183, I'm I'm really not sure 
what his rating was when I bought him, but he had grown quite well. Really well to be honest. And um uh, playing Tommy also in that position for this match. I'm playing the full highlights because like I said, I really do not like attacking highlights because you can just be playing your game and before you know it, it's three nil up. They're three nil up and it's 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 in and it's two minutes to go. So it's why it's so fucking hard. Anyways, we have a grudge mass right here because because they beat us. Okay, that's a lot of fog. That's a whole lot of fog in the stadium right now. But I mean, it's the lights for them. I don't, I don't know why it looks that way, but anyway, I don't care. This is a grudge match. They beat us 3-1 in, in the last match that we played. So right now, we have a really, really big match ahead of us. It's raining, which means that uh, this, this is about to be a really bad match for them. I mean, I'm, I'm not taking the bad luck to myself. They have a, an, an attack in the, six, in the 16th minute. So let's just try and stop this as best as possible. And we should be able to. We, we held Real Madrid, so that's good. First up is a really good chance for for um, German. So right now, I really want I really want to be able to capitalize on all of my. How, how the hell do you miss that, bro? How the actual hell do you miss that? All right, so I I, I anticipated that really really well, and we're able to get. Um, Alright, who's coming? Who's coming? Who's that? This is Zaracho. Okay, I have no idea why you use your fucking left leg there, but we, we, we are still with the ball. I mean, they didn't even give me a chance to get the ball back because I swear that Jerma was going to get the ball back there. Where is the ball? Okay, it was hiding, hiding in plain side. Oh, we actually saw Kudus to be. Oh my days all right that was that was a really good save but i'm just going to clear it now we have okay we say he's on and we have a really a really good chance here hallenberg is not in this match so i mean this looks like the best course of action right now and yeah that was that was highly on a hit uh, and, and, and they don't even give us a chance to to um oh my god that was a really good save and now we have a really good attack i just want fonteca to to go in right now please don't fuck me up please don't fuck it up oh god yes i know that draw and that just means that we are unable to defeat these guys this season that that sucks the the german chance was legit the best and to be honest it's like he's I, i'm going to blame him for also winning this match because that was a really good chance a really good fucking chance for him to for us to go one nil up and he, got, uh, he completely flunked that and then the second one uh all he needed to do was get that ball to fonteca that's all he needed to that was just the last the last attack there all he needed to do was get to fonteca and he completely failed and yeah, we draw the match, a match that we were supposed to win. Goalless still made for um, this rivalry, and we are just six points behind behind um, Barcelona. That's that's really good for us. The next match that we're going to be playing though is against Bayern. That's going to be a really, a really fucking tough one. Really, really tough. Next up, we have um, Espanol, and. The, the, they're relatively good side, but I think we should have this in the bag. Yeah, one 0 I wonder who scored there. But next up, we have we have Bayern. We are home, first leg, and just fix this real quick. Okay. All right. So am I making any changes? No, I am. Oh yeah. Why the hell is ZH? Okay. Um, this guy had a red card. Okay, so ZH is going to be coming in for who? All right, that's true. Okay, so oh, okay, that's what that's what I was missing. I was wondering why the hell, why the hell, um, I wasn't having a substitute striker on the bench. But this match, I think I want to go all out, putting my best fucking team out there, and we're going up against Bayern. Looking at the team, uh, 
it's going to be really it's going to be really tough. They have Mares. I mean, we're in 2025, so Mares shouldn't really be all that. Bellingham is going to be one hell of a player, to be honest. So is Musiala. Um, the elites, Gabriel. That should be the Gabriel that was at Arsenal. So, but our job is to win this match. This is the home, home leg, so we should be able to at least get the win. I mean, we're facing Bayern, so I mean, it's going to be a really tough match. So, I absolutely, these guys absolutely have to make the best out of every single opportunity that they come across because if they don't, there's every possibility that I might not be able to hold the Bayern, the Bayern of attack and. For that, it's just going to be so fucked up if we lose this match by a large margin. But, I mean, I just want us to try and do our best. We were in the 15th minute and they have a, a, a an attack. And obviously, they were the ones that were going to have the attack. So, I mean, even if we have very limited attacks, I just want us to be able to... Damn. So now we have defensive, defen defenses, yeah, defensive beauties to attend to. And we should be good. Just have to get this back to. <laughs> okay, but I mean, that's that. But we have a really good, a really good opportunity here. So I. What? No, I freaking passed to Fonseca. Why the hell are these guys always doing this kind of shit? I obviously passed to Fonseca. Like, can they not? Can they just stop fucking my game up so so much? Alright, so we have an attack and we have German here. So let's hope that he does come away with the ball. And that that was good and that was a really good save from Noya. The match ends nil nil. We are unable to score yet again in this in this stuff and that was a really good chance and i, I have a feeling that if it was it was Ponteca, he definitely he definitely would have gotten that straight in the bag and that would have been a win for us and it's going it's not going to be easier going on from here because we have we have um the second leg against bayern in their home stadium so that's going to be way 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 tougher for us we have a match with atletico madrid and I, I feel like I feel like I want to play this match, but you know what? I think I'm just going to I will I will do like a normal simulation for it. I don't want to play it because of time. That's a really huge win. Yet another huge win against Verona. And I think for take sorry, I think for Seca should be the one getting most of the goals there. And um, two one win to Athletic Club, and now we have we have Atletico Madrid. And I, I want to look at the the um player stats we have Fonseca with 17 goals in 24 matches he scored only two goals since he came back from injury and we have a bunch of a bunch of uh, um, players from the youth academy and none of them are good enough I mean this guy looks like he might be good enough but I'm, I'm really I'm really not uh, Fucking with anyone who is not at least over a million a million pounds right now. Okay, so I mean yet another waste of time to be honest. I I, I think I'm basically I'm, I'm pretty much done with the youth academy right now. I'm, I'm not really interested in any other in, in in going to any other countries for now. I mean we're we're looking pretty good. The best right now is Willems. 87 to 94. I think I think I want to bring him into the squad right now and maybe play him in a couple in a couple a couple games maybe. All right. So this guy's potential is getting really 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 fucked up. So I'm just going to release him because I'm I'm really not doing anything with him anymore. Then this guy, his potential, he's a goalkeeper. That his potential is really 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 interesting. And who else? This guy, this guy, your overall is really bad, but your potential is really high. But I doubt you're ever going to reach that potential unless, unless some some sort of miracle happens. But the only players I'm focusing on are these three. I mean, look at this guy's potential. It's 794. That is absolutely fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy, to be honest. And I mean, he's definitely going to be one of the important players in the team for next season. Fonteca has a red card. But uh, I, I really don't want to change anything 
in the main area. Yeah, I want I want some yas to, to have game time. Guardiola's already on already on an eighty seven. Schmidt's on an eighteen on a, on a ninety one. German German is already it's already on a freaking ninety. That is really good. He's one of the original players. He's the first original player to actually get up to a ninety. That's really good for him. And uh, I think I'm going to play Madike over over Ziyech here. And that's pretty much all I want to do right now. Okay, so I'm going to sim it. That was the wrong sim. But uh, I'm just going to jump to results here because I, I really don't want to waste time watching this stuff. Right now, because I really want to get... I really want to be done with this episode as fast as possible so that the video is not going to be over an hour and 30 minutes. Hopefully it, sh it shouldn't be that much. Because th there weren't any um, transfers transfers this time around so we'll jump this all we win the match Allegra wins it and so Allegra and Cabrera get the goals was that Cabrera or Correa I think it was Correa I really can't remember but now we have the match against against Bayern Munich it's going to be a really a really really tough one let me just rearrange the fucking squad right now because it's really fucking shit uh, I'm bringing Rise on Kallenberg is coming back to the lineup and I, th I think that's yeah, that's good. We're good. So this match against Bayern, I, I'm 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 tempted to use the second formation. Really tempted to use the second formation. Um. Okay, so we are set. So I think I will use this one. Zero zero on aggregates, and I mean whoever wins this match wins the game. Hopefully, it doesn't go to penalty because that will that will fucking suck. What I really need right now is to hold, is to uh, perform excellent in in defense and to perform more than excellent in attack because we really need to be able to get these chances in the net because and we had we had only one main chance in the last in the last leg and we were able to capitalize on that korea was able to capitalize on that so let's hope that we can at least make a a bit of a difference this time around who starts okay we have the counter attack first and i see i see Rise. i see I see a really good opportunity for Fonseca and man there's no way no way in hell you're missing this thank you I mean if it was any other player I would have been so I would have been so tensed but Fonseca is finishing is absolutely fucking crazy and there's no way that he was going to miss that all right so next 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 they have a counter attack and we have a couple of players behind the ball so I mean this should be this should be good. I mean, we shouldn't really. All right, so we are good. They have another attack in the forty-second minute. This time, uh, can I just focus right now? Crap! Crap! Please get the ball. Thank you. And I have it. Okay, okay, we have another counter attack here, and this time I'm looking, I'm looking at Rise, but it doesn't look like giving him straight up will be the best option. And if that, that was just the better of, of all the options right there. Power shots, please don't miss it. Thank you. That is the second goal for for Fonseca here. Two goals against Bayern Munich in Darren Stadium. The easier match happens to be in Darren Stadium, and we have another attack here for Fonseca. I'm, I'm, I'm really tempted to play this straight but okay I have no idea what what went wrong there but we should still we should still have the ball no we not no we not we we actually we actually got the ball there. oh my god this is a really good chance for them and I mean Vardio should be fast enough to catch Tammy Abraham hopefully he's not the game the game the game fucks me up and that was that was really that was really fucking good that was a really good save from 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 Bandri. That man, oh my, <laughs> he deserved a fucking medal. He, des he deserved a, a fucking medal. All right, so that was that was that was good, and we have won this match two 0 against Bayern Munich, and we are through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Hopefully, it does not get worse from here. Hopefully, it does not get harder. I mean, technically, it should get harder, but I'm just really hoping that we get a a lesser team than Bayern Munich. Just for us, just cruise to cruise to the semi-finals of the Champions League, and 
I mean, I'm counting, I'm counting on the guys in this match. So we are through to the semi-finals of, sorry, to the quarter-finals of the Champions League. And good news is that we are first on the, on the Prem, on the La Liga table, 57 points. We are just one point ahead of Villarreal, two points ahead of Barcelona, which means that we are not allowed to lose any fucking matches right now. We are we are legit not allowed to lose any matches. Um, I have no idea when the next match is. Well, I'm just going to simulate to this Barcelona match. That's a match that I am going to play. Playable highlights, of course. And the next match in the in the Champions League. Again, I'm hoping that it's not going to be a tough match. We win against Real Betis 3-1 there. And next match against Sevilla. Sevilla appears to be a tough side, but let's just hope that we're able to come out on top. Hopefully, no, we don't. We lose that match 2-1. That that fucking sucks, to be honest. I really, I really did not want us to lose that match. But next up, we have Leipzig. We have Leipzig next, and I. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play the um, home home leg for that match because I want to play this Barcelona match. So I'm going to play the Barcelona match, skip the simulate the first leg of that one, and then um, play the second leg. All right. So this guy seems to be really good. His value is 1.1 million, and that is that's yet another really fucking incredible player that comes into our team. No one else, no one else seems to be good. Uh, look, I know you have your reason for making a decision, but what was that all about? Suddenly, you're certainly blah blah blah. Uh, I need you fit every week. I mean, this guy is really important. He's a really important player. He's like the image of our team, and I mean, I just want to keep his morale pretty, pretty high. And um, speaking of high morales, I think I think that um, we say. Okay, so his his development schedule is is done, and yeah, exactly. I just I just had a feeling that I was missing a lot, and I'm I'm, I'm going to give him the wide the wide playmaker, get his skill moves up to five stars, and I mean he should be able to progress now, because I think he's been stuck in that 86 for so long now because I mean he he has been he was done with that. Uh, um, development schedule a long time ago so right now i'm just going to you know, change the kits i'm gonna give them their home kit because I, I always like to um do the ones that are least contradictory i mean everybody fucking likes that i don't know what i'm saying i always like it like i'm usually one that, that likes it but anyway match against Barcelona. i think we won the first one i can't remember i can't remember if we won it or not but i think i feel like we did did we I mean, I feel like we did. I can't remember. I always don't remember these things. Always don't remember these things at all. So we are in the Stadio de Cohetes. I'm, I mean, when I changed the stadium, I was supposed to change the name of the stadium. So I mean, when I change the stadium, I definitely will. Definitely not with the next season because I'm. Mean, we just bought the stadium now. So uh, the Barcelona team is really tough. It's really fucking tough, and they have their first attack in the fourth minute. Let's hope that the players can get can bring in the same um, same kind of quality that they brought in in that match against Bayern. We have a really good a really good chance here. Let's hope that Fonteca goes straight in. Please. Thank you. And that was a really good chance but it goes out for for a corner. We are in the 19th minute, basically, basically the 20th minute and they have a counter attack right now. And they come up with the ball. Memphis Depay and okay that was that was bad and they were they were able to bury that into the back of our nets that was really fucking poor defending by by our players but we have a good chance here and i am 100 percent certain that the game was fucked up for me what did i say 100 percent certain that the game was going to fuck it up for me let's focus on the defense right now that was a really good block from tommy asu really 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 good block 62nd minutes and they have a free kick if this was <coughs> sorry if this was a full match and this would have been a really good chance for a counter attack for me but okay, that was a really bad really bad um okay, this is a really good chance to to equalize and please german do not fucking do not fucking fuck this up please do oh my god oh my god this game this game this game I cannot, I, I cannot believe that shit just happened. I cannot believe they just did that to me. 
I cannot believe that they just did that to me. I had a really fucking crazy opportunity there. And the game literally made German a 90 rated footballer, a 90 rated player do that. <laughs> oh my god, that's that. That is just that, that's just unreal, man. All right, next up we have we have a uh, a match against Leipzig, and I think I want to use my first team here. Or let me just make one change. I'm going to bring out uh, Tomiyasu for Zarachu, and yeah, I'm going to sim the match. Hopefully, we do get the win. We are we are at home, so that's a relatively good win for Zarachu and Rise get the goals. And next up, next up we have the second leg. Okay, so um, the match against Ayabar should not be difficult, and we win that three-one. I want to look at the the um table for the the uh, La Liga real quick. Um. Look, I tell you, it's the longest play to be honest. That's that is true. Um, you should focus on your football. He's looking for better wages, and I mean, I might as well, I might as well just give it to him. I might as well just give it to him, but uh, it just takes a long fucking time, especially when I try to delegate it and they they all reject. Like, why the hell are you? Okay, he didn't reject it. That's that's good. Alright, so are you going to reject? Okay, no, you don't. It's like they've all come to their senses right now. Adrian Torres, are you going to reject? No, you don't. Cabrera, are you going to reject? I swear to God, if you reject this, or rather, he, do, he doesn't want an extension. So I'm going to reject it because, I mean, why the hell am I giving you more money without an extension? And boosters? Okay, so Cabrera is basically the only one that's going to be getting the fuck out of our team um, this at the end of the season. So, I mean, I'm pretty much good with that. Next up match against Leipzig uh, any changes I'm not really interested in any changes so okay so we are leading to one we have an advantage going into this match we're going to be away from home though so we kind of don't have a home buff but then again this is the playable highlights they really really fuck my game up every single fucking time and I really I really really do not like that one bit to be honest but really nothing that I can do Honestly, really nothing that I can do about it because I mean I just have to move on and hope that that I can at least get the Premier League and the Champions League in this series, or or I get to the finals of the Champions League. That's my goal. I really, I really am not aiming to win it. I'm just aiming to get to the finals, just so that the board doesn't fuck fuck me up. Um, first chance is for us. This is a good, a really good, a really good chance. For Fonseca, so please have no idea why. Have no idea why that that shit even happens. Like, why do I do something and they actually do something completely different? I mean, there has to be an explanation behind it. They can't just be doing that that for doing its sake. It's really fucking annoying. So we have a solo run for German, and I mean, this should be. This should be good. I mean, please, thank you. All right, so this is the first time I'm scoring with him in this episode. That is, that was a really good goal, really good solo one, three one aggregates, and that. I mean, we're basically we're basically through to the to the round of sixteen in this match. I see, I see Fonseca, and the pass was completely fucked up. I have no idea why, but it is. Let's get Kallenberg on this. Hopefully he's still in the match. Yes, he is. And... Okay, goes to James. And that was just a really, really bad, bad attempt at goal. Right now, we have a really good opportunity for another, for another goal. But I think I'm going to give it to Kallenberg as well. Let's try and get this properly into that far post. Let's see who can. Okay, no one, no one's there basically. So I think that's basically the end of the match. We win it one 0 three one on aggregates. We could have scored a bunch more goals if we were just able to capitalize on majority of our of our um, 
chances and opportunities. But I mean, not that we're still able to win. Tickell is a really happy man in this team, and he's doing really, really well leading this team into yet another Champions League victory for him. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that we're actually going to be able to to get the tra Champions League trophy, even if, even if like it's not a goal for me right now, because we're still in our third season, and. We're through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. That is that in it that in itself is a really really big fucking achievement, to be honest. And is our is our is our opponents ready? Okay, uh, I'm going to sing to this Almeria match because I have no idea. Okay, so we are starting away against PSG. I don't want to play both matches, so I'm going to do the normal simulation for this, and then uh, I will play the. The full match for the um not the full match rather the the um playable highlights for the second match but before i do that i want to see where we are on in the in the la liga i'm always thinking of seeing premier league for some reason we are still first one point ahead of real madrid Barcelona has falling real madrid and villarreal are really are really this is a really fucking tight title race to be honest really tight and I, I from this point on i really i really cannot lose any matches from now like it's it's just it should not happen it should not happen at all transfer offer for her tadu have no idea why but this is going to give that make that a one-year loan i don't really care if it goes through or not to be honest but first match is against psg we're going all out then the sad thing is that we're going to have to use our second team against um against Almeria so that we can save legs for the second leg okay we win 2-1 Rise and Fonseca get the goals for us and we are going to we're going to the home leg and I mean that just I mean we should have the, the advantage so we definitely we definitely should win that match definitely should win the match um match against Almeria uh we should we are home so this shouldn't really be a problem but I, i'm going to be using my second team here hopefully we get the win i'm going to put um all right basically no changes here uh korea and fonseca german kallenberg i think i think i want to put kallenberg in this match he will rest in the next match and I'm going to put um, Korea for for Maduke because because I just want the best possible. No, why the fuck did I do that? Korea for Cabrera, sorry, and that's just the best. What the fuck am I doing? Then Maduke goes here. Okay, that's 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 good. So hopefully, hopefully we get the win here. I'm really hoping that we are able to get the win. We do. James Korea. Korea gets two goals. James gets the, gets the final goal for the team, and we are saving ourselves, saving our asses, and it's it's getting really tense. To be honest, it's getting really fucking tense. The end of the season. We are now going up against PSG in the Estadio de Cohetes. Let me just change that kids real quick. I'm not making any changes. Yeah, I I want Kalimberg to rest in this match, so I'm going to put. Look at Telly. Hmm. So this is this is quite. You know, I'm going to play Bash there. It's, it's kind of weird. No, well, I'm, I'm I'm not because that's just going to give me a massive a massive um disadvantage if I do that. So oh, we have. I didn't I didn't see if the right play the right winger was messy or not. This is the last Champions League match that we're going to be um playing with highlights. The next one is going to be the finals and we are going to play the full match of that one. Once we reach the finals we are going to we are going to have um, um, settled what the board asked of us. And I am really curious to see who their right winger is, if it's Messi or not. Because I mean that team is still really fucking stacked. Still really fucking stacked and I can't see it. I can't see the person yet. And I'm really I'm really really curious to see who, who it is. I actually really wonder who it is to be honest. Alright, I, I don't think they're showing us. I really don't think they're showing us. So, anyways, I just. 
Okay, so we have the first the first opportunity here. And I want to get it out to to German, but I failed miserably at that. And we have another opportunity here in the 30th minutes. I mean, I really don't mind a goalless draw. I just want us to be able to get a really good win here. And that was a really good chance. That was a really, really fucking good chance. Um, I feel like going for a goal. I feel like, I, I really feel like going for a goal. Um, his tricky accuracy is not, it's not all that. His curve is not all that. But I definitely want to go for a goal. Okay, that was, that was fucking tame. <laughs> that was fucking tame. But we have, we have a really good attack here. He's not, not that good. But, are we still going to be able to get the ball? Yes, we do. And what the hell was that shot? What the hell was that shot, man? That was that was really, really poor. That was not what I expected from, from Kallenberg, to be honest. And now we have to... Okay, so we do get the ball. I'm just going to give it back to... Oh my, oh my god. Okay, so we need, we need every single fucking player that we can get right now. Uh, our main player right oh my days oh my days God, my heart just fucking skipped and now Neymar has another another solo run they can't score this please they can't score this that was that was needed that was fucking needed Alright, so we end up with the ball and take all this draw and we are through to the finals of the Champions League. This is the first time that we are doing this and if we are able to win the, the, the Champions League, that is going to be fucking mad. But we have, we have um, done what the board has asked of us and it's a really good feeling going all the way to the Champions League finals. I, I never really thought that we were going to be able to. And if we win it, then that's going to be more money for us to be able to get more better players for next, for next season. And it was a really good match. The second leg of the Milan and Liverpool match is yet to be played. It's 1-0 on aggregate. And I'm really curious to see who is going to win that. I mean, we will know in a bit. We'll know in a bit. And we are one point. We're still one point ahead of Villarreal and Real Madrid. So I'm going to be simming to the Real Madrid match because that is... Okay, we're playing AC Milan in the Champions League final. We win against that team. I have no idea who they are. We win against Cadiz. That that was a really really tough one. And now we we are against Real Madrid. I think that this should be the match that settles who is going to be winning this fucking title. Unless we have gone a, a little bit ahead of them. If they win it, they are definitely going ahead of us. And Villa, I mean Villarreal is completely lost. There's no way that okay they are still going to be able to catch up to us if we lose two matches in, in a row. In a row. So right now this match, this match is for every single fucking thing that I have ever done in this particular series, in this particular in this particular season rather. I'm bringing Lozano because Zaracho is on a red. I'm going all out as well. If I win Real Madrid here, then I have definitely won. I definitely won the the uh the league. That's if I win them. And <sighs> This is, going to be, this is going to be really, really, really fucking tough. Alright, we are at the Estadio de Estadio Santiago Bernabeu against Real Madrid. This is going to be a really tough match. It's first against second, and the winner of this match is most likely going to win the the, the Premier the La Liga. And if they win the match, there's still a chance for us to win it as if they lose their next match. So, we are the ones with everything to lose right now. If we win it, we have won the fucking, the, the fucking La Liga. And this, this, this is basically the second most important match of this season. The second most important match of this entire career. And we have a solo run for Fonteca straight off the bat. I hate, I hate these things because it's really, it's really hard to do anything. And that was that was good, really good to find 
by German and man, how the hell? Oh, oh, that is a beautiful goal. Really good way to not give up. Really, really good way to not give up. It sucks that there is no replay, but that was a really beautiful goal. And next up, we have a penalty with Fonteca. And all right, so what am I doing here? Okay, and <laughs> I was able to do it. I was able to do it, and we are two 0 up against Real Madrid in the twenty seventh minute. And this is the match for us to win the fucking the fucking La Liga title. We're not going to be lifting the trophy in this in this match because we are um, we are not in our home stadium. So we're definitely going to be lifting it in the next match, which means I'm going to have to play that just so that I I can see us lift the La Liga trophy. Finally, we are able to get that from the Real Madrid player there. And now we have a really good opportunity for a third goal. If Fonseca can, can just make the right run here. And James, no, that's that's the wrong fucking pass. And we're able to win it 2-0 Fonseca and we say get the goals in this in this in this in this match. And that was good. And for some reason they are rushing out to lift the fucking trophy. It's either it's either the next match is not in our home stadium or something like that. But I mean, it's really fun if we are going to lift the freaking La Liga, the La Liga trophy in the Bernabeu. That's that, that's going to be that's going to be mad because this is a really really wild. It's a really really huge stadium, and it's such an honor for us to be able to lift it in this stadium. Our our, our fans are not even in majority of the stadium, and I mean. The, the, the Real Madrid fans are not leaving the stadium because they are acknowledging that we are we were actually able to to um, have they're acknowledging such a brilliant season that we were able to have and James lifting the second trophy oh my god this thing is massive what the hell <laughs> this thing is massive but anyways no no chance for us <laughs> but I mean I mean it's still it's still really good that we're able to win win um, the champion the La Liga I, I don't know why people call me Champion League and Premier League but this is the La Liga and we are lifting it really really good really really good good scenes to be honest and the team has done really really well for us to be able to get so far and it's it's, it's really it's really it's really interesting that we're able to to win it that goal that goal uh, that German score. This this thing was fucking brilliant. This goal was fucking brilliant. And damn, I mean, he did not give up, and that that is what mattered. He did not give up, and that is what mattered. And I think I think I'm going to I'm going to save that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save that for maybe a thumbnail or something. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, then the bicycle kick. We're away. So, all right. Am I, am I even going to be able to get this? Alright. This looks like it's a good enough shot. With Rudiger. He got fucking, he got fucking posterized. Uh, I, th I think that's what I'm going to call it. He got fucking posterized. And that was good. So up next is the Champions League final. So that is going to be one hell of a tough ass match. It's also going to be the last match for this episode. And if we win it... That's going to be good for us, but I mean, we are not really looking to win it. I mean, I'm looking to win. What am I saying? What, what the fuck am I saying? What the actual fuck am I saying? Let's look at the player stats for the La Liga. Okay, we, we, Fonseca just got 23 goals, and Verna, Verna has done really, really well to be able to grab the top scorer of the of the league. Okay, the next match was against Villarreal against Valencia and it was away. That's why we we lifted it in the in the Bernabeu. So let's just hope that we we go out with a bang in the final match of La Liga. Hopefully we can get the win. Yes, we do. Two one to Valencia against Valencia, and now we are in the Champions League freaking finals. We reached the finals. We got the the title, and then we're supposed to finish the league with a profit margin of what is that? 258 and we are not we're definitely not getting there 
sucks that we weren't able to win the Copa de España there. And I mean, next next season we're definitely going to get the objective to win to win the Champions League, and we only just have to be able to do that, basically. And for now, uh, this is our, this is our strongest side. Rise has broken that 87, has broken to 87. Schmidt is only 92. This guy is absolutely fucking balling, and he even has a plus five at that. There's really no no changes I would make to this match. No changes at all. And should I should I wear my home kit? I think I think I want to wear the home kit. Or I will I will wear the home kit. Okay, so yeah, let's hope that we're able to win the match against but against AC Milan. All right, so the Champions League finals is the Park de Prince. So it's really odd because just imagine PSG beat us and got to the Champions League final. That would be so fucking odd. But we are the ones that are here. We're going up against AC Milan. AC Milan hasn't been in the Champions League finals for a really long time, and it's actually really interesting to see them here. But we are here to stop them from lifting the trophy once again. We want our very first trophy, and I believe that we're going to be able to get. They have Gabriel Jesus. They have Bruno Fernandez. They have Tonali. Who else can I see there? They have Kyle Walker, they have Theo Hernandez. This is a really, really fucking stacked team. I think this is good. This should be anti Rebic. I'm not sure if this is anti Rebic or not. They are, they are defense. Their keeper is really good. Magnan, they have Tomori. Is that Tomori? That should be Tomori. Yeah, it's a really fucking stacked squad. Really, really fucking stacked squad. But let's just hope that we are able to bring in the, the terrific run of form that we've had for the entirety of this second half of the season into this match and and get oh uh, god no my fucking way oh my days the keeper didn't even dive the keeper didn't even try and just like that they have scored the very first goal of the I mean this is what happened in the match against Real Madrid where I just completely shot off in the, in the entire in, in, in the defense and they just get that kind of a goal it's, it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. But I mean, I wanted Helvig to slide, but I mean, he I didn't respond in time. I don't know why I didn't respond. I mean, I feel like if he slid there, there's a, pop, there's a, there's a possibility that that we would have gotten gotten that. So now I want. I mean, I want to. I want to go aggressive in this match, but. I mean, I, I think I was definitely offside in the first place. Alright, that was a good... Alright, we have a good chance, but it was blocked by the, the, the AC Milan defender. Okay, we are, we are keeping possession once again. Just like what we did. And what, what are these passes? Why are you guys making so many stupid ass passes? I mean, with the way we are playing, we definitely deserve to win this match. Damn. This is legit to do my good match over again. Sucks. I mean, we are legit playing better than them. It's just that our final third movement is, is is not good enough. Please, exactly what I'm talking about. We're not good enough in the final third. We're not getting the shot off. We're not getting anything off, and. We're supposed to be able to do a lot better in defense, and, and and look at this. They have yet another opportunity. God. Oh my days. Oh my. What the hell? What the hell are these guys doing? What the hell are these guys actually doing? We're losing three for in this in the finals of the Champions League, and it's not even thirty minutes yet. <laughs> What the actual fuck is happening right now? This this is fucking bullshit. 
This is fucking bullshit. I mean, the passes are off. Fucking off. But we have a corner right now, so that 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 should be good. Really, no one there that can challenge for this. Okay, this. I'll take it back to Kallenberg, and that was just fucking. That, that was fucking stupid. Our shots. All right, I have no idea why Fonseca is playing out wide there. Okay, so I should be good. I should be good. I'm we 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 can hardly do anything. We can hardly do anything to protect ourselves from from the barrage of attacks that that befalls us right now. I feel like the crazy thing is that is. I, 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 I honestly don't even think that we are this outmatched. I honestly don't think that we are this outmatched. I just feel like, I don't know, whatever nerves that they have right now is just, is just fucking stupid. All of it, all of it is freaking stupid to be honest. I mean, the passes are way off. Nothing is coming up for anybody. Please, score this one. I couldn't even pass because I wasn't I, I, I wasn't confident in, in him passing to the right person. I wonder why this game is so fucking glitchy right now. This, this is bad. You see, Helvig just was at the completely wrong fucking place right there. I mean, he was, he was supposed to be there for, a, for for an easy tap in, but for some reason, man just decided to go out of the fucking pitch for whatever reason. I'm, I'm so fucking pissed. I should just stop talking and just focus on on winning this match right now because for 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 nil for the type of team that I'm managing right now, this is this is fucking humiliating. This is fucking humiliating. I mean, these guys can legit just run into our freaking. Into our freaking uh, I can't I can't make passes. I can't I can't do anything. Everything is so so hard. Okay, so this looks like a good a good chance, and of course, and of course, of course, we do not we do not get to get a goal there. After, after that incredibly beautiful, beautiful string of passes and, and really, really good attack, we do not get any reward for that. Classic FIFA. Classic fucking FIFA. Passing to the wrong person. Classic fucking FIFA. But I don't even know what to do. I mean, there's no way we're coming back in this match. No way in hell we're coming back in this match. This match, this match has really, really annoyed me. Has killed my, my fucking morale. And if we do not even get a goal at all, that's just going to be fucking stupid. At least, at least score this. But finally, I, 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 I honestly wasn't. I honestly wasn't taking any fucking chances there. Was he able to try and do it normal shot because there is every possibility that the keeper is just going to to absolutely block that. And I Alright. Uh we're in the sixty third minute. There's still every possibility for us to equalize equalize in this match. It's not it's not it's not out of the realm of possibility. There's still enough time. And I intend to capitalize on that please all right looks like we're coming back that was no side right okay was it outside and we are 4-2 i'm 
I'm not going to raise my hooks up because I really do not want Ginger and start fucking shit up right now. But that was a really good pass from VH. A really good goal from, from, from German there. Okay, we're able to come out with the ball there, which sucks. My god. Please get the ball. Thank you. That's the who I freaking passed to. That is the who I freaking passed to. Oh my god, this game, this game is fucking rigged. All right. Okay. What? All right, all right. We have to. We have to. Ten minutes to get to get two goals. All right, ten minutes to get two goals. It's it's not outside of the realm of possibility. We need to get the ball up the field as fast as possible and no fucking pass like a freaking imbecile. Come on, come on, Locatelli, please, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this, this has to be the worst fucking match in the entirety. Alright. What the hell was that? Why was that shot so fucking weak? Why was that shot so fucking weak? Alright, I, I, I want to try again. Alright, Fonteca, please. Oh my god! Oh my days! That was actually so close. That's 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 the end. Definitely not getting. We tried. We really tried. Those are the team did absolutely fucking shit at the beginning of the match. We, we continued four goals in the first half. Four freaking goals in the first half. And that was just fucking stupid, to be honest. That was just fucking stupid. How the hell, how the hell, how the hell, how the hell did we continue four goals in the first freaking half? I mean, in real life, you watch them lift the trophy, right? I've always put myself to that pain. I was just drinking water, that's why it has it has been like this for so long. But I mean, we the bright side, the only thing I take away from this is that at least the team woke up in the second half. We had a bunch of chances in the second half, but we just weren't able to get past that four 0 loss in the first half. But um, this actually fucking hurts, to be honest. Because I mean, we, we we came so far for us to lose four two in the freaking Champions League finals. If it was one nil, I honestly wouldn't be that um, heartbroken about it. But it's fucking four two, and they scored four goals in the first half. The team, the team was just absolutely fucking. I I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. But. Uh, Milan are crowned uh, league winners. Player of the tournament was Salah. Uh, we did not get the double there, but uh, our team has done really well this 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 um, season. The, they did really really well actually, and we were able to get. Real Madrid actually lost their their sec their last match right after we won against that team that we. Right after we beat them, I mean, I mean, there was no point in them losing, in winning the match either way, because nothing was going to happen, nothing would come of that. But sucks for them. Uh, we're at the end of the season, and now we're looking at the stats. And we have Fonseca, he doesn't get as many goals as he did last season. I blame it on the injury there, I think that might have just like put a break in his stride. <laughs> And he gets eight assists this time around. He doesn't get as many assists as he, as he did last season as well. Um, German is right in right there in second with 14 goals and four assists. We say with 13 goals and five assists. 
Hallenberg with 10 goals and 13 assists and Correa coming off the, best, off the bench most times gets 9 goals and 2 assists. So those are the top 5 players in the league this time and once again obviously Montega gets the player of the season for our team. And I think I think um, yeah, he did really well. I mean, he didn't get the the golden boots for La Liga or any anything for for that matter. He didn't even score in the Copa de España at all. I don't even think he played in any of those matches because he was injured when all these matches were going down. But the team is really fucking tired right now, and it has been it, ha it has been a really good episode. We we um won we went on a super run through the Champions League, but we. we we just fell short in the final. I don't know what the fuck happened to the team there, but I mean that was just a really, really bad match. But other than that, we did really well. We we're able to win the, the La Liga, and that is something. So that is two trophies in our cabinet right now. That is good for us. But anyway, this is the end of the episode. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you guys want me to get any specific player in the next episode and all that. So, um. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.